Welcome to CH Production if you are new then press the subscribe button and don't forget to press the bell icon. Today's video is about the top 10 richest countries in the world. So without wasting any time let's start it. White chocolate, the bobsleigh and of course the Swiss army knife. But also the computer mouse, velcro and LSD. The list just goes and on, these are only some of the inventions that Switzerland has contributed to the world. Today, however, this country of 8.6 million owes much his wealth to its banking and insurance. The flat Arabian desert covers most of Kuwait's territory. It was only in 1938 that oil was discovered under its sands. A lot of oil, Kuwait makes up over 6% of the world's total reserves. The oil industry accounts today for about 40% of the country's GDP and over 90% of its exports with a population of approximately 4.1 million, 3 million of which are expats, almost entirely concentrated in urban areas. This small state on the northern edge of the Persian Gulf is one of the Middle East's most advanced and democratic. Oil was discovered in the 1950s and everything changed. Today, its highly cosmopolitan population enjoy considerable wealth, traditional Islamic architecture mixes with glitzy shopping centers, and workers come from all over the world lured by tax-free salaries and year-round sunshine, to the extent that only about 20% of the people living in the country are actually locally born. The United Arab Emirates economy is also becoming increasingly diversified. The global pandemic ensured, sending the krona in freefall. Today, this export-reliant economy faces its first recession since the global financial crisis. Does it mean that it will become significantly less wealthy? Probably not. In June, just weeks after cutting the interest rates to zero, the governor of the country's central bank said he was surprised by the speed and strength of the rebound in productivity. Until recently, Ireland seemed unstoppable. While the rest of Europe was facing all sort of uncertainties, Brexit, trade tensions with the US, refugee and migrant crises to name a few, the Irish economy just kept humming along. In 2019, while the Eurozone grew only 1.2%, it expanded by over 5.5%, consolidating its role as the fastest growing country on the continent. A nation of fewer than 5 million inhabitants, Ireland was one of the hardest hit by the global downturn. At number 5 it is Brunei Darus Salam it has been estimated that out of its 450,000 population up to the 40% earns less than $1,000 a year. Luckily, the country was spared the worst of the coronavirus pandemic, in July, noting that no new cases of infection had been recorded in more than two months, Brunei's Ministry of Finance and Economy stated that in the first quarter of the year, with an estimated net worth of $16 billion, restaurateur Zhang Yun is the richest person living in Singapore. Close second with assets of about $14 billion, to some people's surprise is Eduardo Saverin, the co-founder of Facebook, who in 2011 left the US with 53 million shares of the Campania and became a permanent resident of the island nation. Saverin did not choose it just for its urban attractions or natural gateways, Singapore is an affluent fiscal haven where capital gains and dividends are tax-free. At the number 3 in our list of richest countries is Luxembourg situated at the very heart of Europe, this nation of at about 600,000 has plenty to offer, both to its tourists and its citizens. Luxembourg uses a large share of its wealth to deliver better housing, healthcare and education to its people, who by far enjoy the highest standard of living in the Eurozone. In Asia's gambling capital many are betting that Macau will climb to the first spot of the richest nation's ranking very soon. Formerly a colony of the Portuguese Empire, since the gaming industry was liberalized in 2001 this special administrative region of the People's Republic of China has seen its wealth growing at an astounding pace. With a population just over 600,000, and more than 40 casinos spread over a territory of about 30 square kilometers. About $15,000 is, on average, how much each Qatari citizen has lost every year since the hydrocarbon prices started dropping in 2014. Still, the country's oil, gas and petrochemical reserves are so large, and its population so small just 2.8 million that this marvel of ultra-modern architecture, luxury shopping malls and fine cuisine has managed to top the list of world's richest nations for 20 years. 
Well that's all we had for this video, hope you enjoyed it if you did hit the like button and also do check out other videos as well.